friends, wanted to share with you a bargain I got at the auction last night. Uh, we just recently in our little town had an auction house open up for about the last, well, matter of fact, they're having their year anniversary next weekend. But and we bought a few odds and ends. This is what I got last night. It is an antique dining set. I've given my daughter the one that my mother had left her. And so I have had an empty dining room for the last few months and I wanted to uh, find something inexpensive but just something that would last me you know four or five years till we get ready to downsize and so I found the perfect project piece I paid hundred and fifty dollars for the table and the four chairs I wish it had six but the four will work fine because I really wanted to put something on each end of the table uh, different anyway I love the look when you have two end table in chairs that look different but anyway, wanted to show you the before shot. So this is the table. It appears to be in really good shape. It comes with two leaves and it has came with all the pads that went on it. We're not gonna use this very often. It's mainly just a space filler for the dining room. But I love the look of the legs. You can tell the legs need a little bit of TLC. But I can see that it has metal tips on the ends of it. I'm gonna pan around here. We're in the garage and we're slowly getting the stuff out of the truck. It came with four chairs. I love the detail on them. Uh, it's kind of a uh, cherry kind of real pretty wood. I love this centerpiece that's in the middle of the back. And of course, this fabric is fixing to go. That's why I'm taking them into the dining room now. Okay, I got the chairs inside now. And what I'm gonna do is take the seats off of them. If you've never recovered dining room chairs, it is super simple. It is normally like four screws and a piece of wood. Uh, some cushion and some in your new fabric. That's all it is. It's super easy. Let me just pan up here and show you. This is something that I bought at the auction about, this was our first trip to the auction. I got this Bombay chest. Love this thing. I've been wanting one of these forever. Uh, it's just in one wall of my dining room and I got it for like $125. That was just a total score. And I was able to replace my china cabinet with this. Here's Maddie, she think, I think she wants to get up on there. When I get all the chairs taken apart, I'll show you the pieces. Okay, it is the next day and my husband is downstairs and he has taken some mineral spirits and some Old English scratch cover and he is just wiping down the furniture really well. We're not gonna recover this furniture right now because we're not sure if we're gonna keep it and it's really just to keep it just to put something in the dining room. But I'm gonna recover the chairs, and this is what I decided to buy. It's Since it's Sunday, uh, there is nowhere open. Hobby Lobby's closed, and, and uh, Hancock's near me has gone out of business. I really needed some upholstery type of fabric. So I decided to go to Tuesday morning, and I, and I went to their curtains. You know, because a lot of times curtains are a thicker type material. Found these on the clearance for uh, $20 with 20% off. So I got it for probably about $17, um, two of these panels, and this will match my curtains. It is classic and, you know, subtle enough where it will go. And so, you know, it's, we're just trying to make it look better than what it is. I'm gonna take these curtains and I'm gonna cut four 24 by 24 pieces of fabric so we can staple it onto the seats. Okay, this is the bottom of one of the chairs and I am just ripping the seat covers off. And it's exposing a mauve stripe underneath. Okay, now that I've got that original fabric off, this is what was under it, a pretty nasty looking burgundy stripe. So now uh, the fabric I have, you know, chose was kind of a beigey and I don't want the chance of these stripes showing through. So I had some just real thin batting that I cut uh, four more 24 by 24 pieces and I'm gonna staple that under the fabric. Okay, my husband is working on the chairs now. He is wiping them down and tightening up the screws. That makes a huge difference if you go around to all the screws you find on the chairs and tighten them up. We've brought the table in. We've got that all wiped down with mineral spirits and scratch cover, and it made a huge difference. I mean, it really brought it back to life. You know, that's the good thing about buying something older is you don't have to worry about it being a little scratch or nick here and there, because it's already there. If I would have gone and spent $1,000 on a set, 
you know, that's something you have to worry about. But I've got the seats ready for them. And just want to show you, I've got a little assembly line going. And it's really important that you number the bottom of the chairs with the cushion set that you took off so that the holes match up and it'll be a whole lot easier to match the seat back where it belongs. And look at Maddie sitting there. I want to show you what I got going on here. This is the original chair. Those are gross. They're a thin batting, super cheap, like $4 at Walmart. And then this is my curtain fabric. And the good thing about using this curtain fabric is I got all this fabric for less than 20 bucks. And now I've still got enough fabric to do at least two more chairs or if one of these chairs gets stained up. Show you when we get ready to do the stapling. Okay, I wanna show you that I laid my seat down and then I just went uh, a row of staples at the top and a row of staples at the bottom, one on each side. And now I'm going to cut some of the excess off so I won't have so much when I get ready to fit it around the corner. I'm constantly looking the way it looks on the corner as I'm pulling it up. I staple it and bring it all to the center and that's kind of like my final staple. And it does help, like I said, to cut off the excess so you're not working with so much bulk. But I'm constantly just pulling and tugging. And then once the furniture gets put together, so a few of those wrinkles will, will be fine. It's not near as noticeable, but you, know, you are a little critical of it when you are, you know, staple on it but it will be fine so i flip it over and i thought that was a speck but all the the whole curtain has little specks like that all anyway i think it'll be fine once uh once the chairs get all put back together but i really like this classic print to chair number two well friends our sunday project is finally complete after about three hours of some elbow grease real happy with it um, it's a little smaller set than I've had in the past. My original set and my mother's set were a lot bigger, but you know, this will work just fine. I just wanted something to fill this space because it has been empty for about three months now. The purpose of this video was just to show you how easy, you know, and inexpensive things can be if you find a diamond in the rough. You know, we, we like this, well, I like the shape of it. Um, I knew that, you know, recovering them would be super easy. And that scratch cover is two or three bucks. The, ma the material from the curtains were less than 20 and just a good cleaning. That's the main thing. I hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.